I'm a little bit sad today. Why? Because it's the last video in this series. We started back in January and I've been with you every Thursday for 21 weeks. Now it's coming to an end and I don't know what I'm going to do with my life or with my YouTube channel. Okay, maybe I am exaggerating slightly. But as this is the last video in the Learning to Fly series, I want to do a very brief recap of everything we've done. But I'm not going to do all the work for you. This is a challenge. The challenge is to remember as many of the keywords from the series as you can in 30 seconds. Are you ready? No peeping. Your time starts now. Time's up. Okay, here are the answers. Prepare, begin, connect, invite, support, spark, wonder, anchor, balance, explore, discover, grow, move, flow, cultivate, activate, deepen, trust, shine, and celebrate. How many did you get right? Now I wonder if you can guess what this week's final keyword is. Yes, it's liberate. Because it's time, just like in the cover image of this series, to let your learners fly. Now, I'm not expecting you to just remove all the rules and regulations and let your learners do what they want and run wild. If that's what you were expecting, then you should probably go back and re-watch the previous 20 videos. In fact, that's not such a bad idea. Have a look through the playlist and re-watch any videos that you need to. Perhaps you didn't do all of the activities or there are some that you'd like to go back and do again. It's a good opportunity to compare how well your learners deal with the activity. Can you reduce some of the support that you gave them last time? Now your learners might be ready for more. In this series, I've introduced you to some inquiry-based activities. We've looked at provocations, developing learner questions, using learners' interests as lesson or project topics. We've done bits of research, we've used group work, and we've looked at different ways of presenting learning. We've actually done most of the parts of an inquiry-based approach without even realizing it. So now it's time to put everything together. Last week, I shared with you my mini resource pack party. I've developed a range of topic-based resource packs that introduce you to inquiry-based learning and provide all the steps and structure that you need to implement it without spending hours planning, which is really important. If you're ready to try out a full inquiry over a series of lessons, you can find these packs on my website. But maybe you're ready for something more. The resource packs are great, at least I hope they are, but they're not based on what interests your learners. Earlier in this series, you discovered what your students are passionate about and what motivates them to learn. Why not capitalise on this valuable information and design your own inquiry? Yes, I know it sounds hard. It is, especially if you're new to this approach, but I can help. And this is why I designed a six-week online course called the Inspiring Inquiries Training Pathway. 
It's designed for EFL teachers like you who work with children aged between 6 and about 12. On the course we look at everything that you need to know to be able to design, set up and run an inquiry in your classroom. The weekly live sessions allow you to get the support you need and you'll also have practical tasks to carry out in your classroom. The course starts next Monday the 13th of May. You can find out more on my website michellewargan.com. I hope you've enjoyed this series and that you found it useful. I really hope it's enabled you to make lasting changes in your classroom and that you and your students are seeing noticeable results. Please do let me know how things are going by adding a comment below any of these videos. And do come back later on and continue to share. These videos won't be going anywhere, so use them again next year when you start back at school with a new class. So now it is time to let go. Imagine that you're holding a baby bird in your hands. This baby bird represents your students. Are you ready to let them go? Go on. Fly, little bird, fly. And goodbye.